I'm Wendy Hughes, John with Greenworks Realty, and I'm out here in uh, unincorporated Snohomish County, eight miles outside of Monroe, kind of on the way um, towards um, Granite Falls. We could give you a video tour of a 37.8 uh, acre preliminary plant that's been, uh, it's under uh, design for sustainable community um, for eight parcels on 40 acres, where each parcel is about an acre to two acres, and a lot of the land is held um, in common by all of the owners. And there's a creek here, and a lot of woods, and other areas, and we'll, um, we'll hike in a ways and go ahead and give you a tour. Thanks for coming along. So the street uh, scape for this property is, the creek uh, literally runs right next to the driveway. Um, out here and uh, this the way the camera's pointing now is towards Granite Falls you can get through a back way there we have a horse over here enjoying a snack and uh, it's actually a pretty uh, pretty quiet road it's just one lane each direction the creek runs across the road down into this property here and then Pointing back towards the south, this way, uh, Monroe is that direction. So uh, it's very wooded, very natural area, and um, I grew up in an area like this, and it's it's a very nice way to grow up. One go. On the back of the flyer uh, that you'll find in the flyer box out here at 5115 Woods Creek Road, Monroe, um, is a preliminary plat map. And uh, we're standing uh, right here, and um, this road is not put in yet, but uh, will probably be mowed in so that people can get a better visual of where the parcels will be, which are, uh, there's one here, 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 and then the eighth parcel is over here, and there's um, actually a creek, or a, a spring. Uh, with a water source that actually used to be Monroe's water source um, uh, a few decades ago. And um, the seller hasn't quite figured out how to value that eighth parcel, so it's not actually included in the sale of um, price of $1.095 million for 37.8 acres. And the Woods, uh, Woods Creek is over here to the left. And um, on, on camera now, we'll kind of show you the road that, where people have been walking to go look at the property. And um, we'll go ahead and walk down there and uh, show you the creek and show you further back um, the, the land because there's some open field and then there's a lot of woods as well. One. So. Okay. So this is Woods Creek and there's actually a lot of beaver activity uh, through this area and it runs through the entire property. And the tree line that you see off in the distance, um, the owner of this property used to have a nursery out in this area and when he closed the nursery he had some trees left over that he planted and didn't um because he didn't want to kill them you know and he thought maybe a road might be along that area but since then the the re the design of the property and how it will be laid out um turned out a little bit differently so there's a lot of wildlife out here and actually um bordering this uh parcel of land is a, a dnr land department of natural resources owned by the federal government and there's a lot, you'll find a lot of wildlife out here. And um, as you can see, the season's starting to change and we're getting some leaf color change. And we're gonna try to walk in a little bit further. There is a large open field area and um, there's a lot of woods and I don't know if we'll be able to get that far because the uh, water level's already up and we're getting our feet wet. So um, we'll see what we can find. Okay, so we tried to hike in a little bit further, but it's really boggy. And without um, being with the owner, he knew exactly where to walk and there was a board over runs. Um, I can't get further back to give you a better, uh, better show, but um, it is uh, basically all that the eye can see. And um, there's some really great concepts behind how this uh, property would be owned and managed by the future, the future people who would live here. So check out the property's uh, blog. It's at woodscreekpreserve.blogspot.com. And you can also email me at wendyhj at greenspacesrealestate.com if you have any questions and if you'd like to have the preliminary plat map emailed to you, um, I can do that. So thanks for, thanks for watching and have a nice day.